Good morning, everyone. It is about 7.25 in the morning. Today, we are heading to Hollywood Studios to ride Mickey's Runaway Railway and maybe Star Wars Rides of Resistance. We're here at the Skyliner Station, two and a half hours before it opens. There is a sunrise on a part of animation and a pop century to our left. This waterway here is called Hourglass Lake that connects the two resorts together. And the Skyliner Station is just to our right. Now, why get here this early? Well, because the Skyliner has to transfer into Caribbean Beach. And at Caribbean Beach Station, there's the boardwalk, there's the yacht club, and the beach club, and Pop Century guests trying to get all to Hollywood Studios at the same place. So I'm trying to get on the first few Skyliners, then transfer to Caribbean Beach, then to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Now, I've been here since maybe about 15, 20 minutes now, and the line has doubled. So there's about 20 of us in line here now. So I'm definitely you know, going to get on the first few Skyliners. But then once you get to Caribbean Beach, that's a whole different story. Now surprisingly, my priority is not Rise of the Resistance. We have that at home. I can ride it almost any time. Today's priority is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. We do not have that at home at, in California. So I'm gonna try to ride it as much as I can today. It's also supposed to rain around 2 to 7 p.m. today, which is the rest of the afternoon and until park closing. So I want to maximize my time the most I can at Hollywood Studios today. Update time. It's about 8.20. I have been here for almost an hour. Really nice people around me, but look at the line to go. It has almost quadrupled. It's past that bowling pin past the second bowling pin there and uh, I don't know how far it goes past the trees but I am very glad I got here early and we'll just wait it out it looks like we'll be on soon the cast members are getting ready looks like they're getting ready to open the station it's 8 30 and we are moving Good morning it's about 8.45 now, and the first few guests are getting on the Skyliner. So, we will make it there, hopefully before 9, and then we'll get into another line. Alrighty, once we get over to Caribbean Beach, or Caribbean Beach, however you say it, we will have to get into another line to get into the, another Skyliner to go over to Hollywood Studios. It is now about 8.50. We'll get to the station around 9, get in the line around 9, and we'll see from there. The cast member at the Skyliner told me, just to let you know, there's going to be a big crowd of people here. So, let's do this. So surprisingly, they didn't let us wait in the big line over there. They let us get right into the line for the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios, which is very nice of them. I was expected to stand in that giant line way over there. That was really unexpected. I was expecting to stand in that giant line there for at least maybe 45 minutes to an hour to get on the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios. Thank you for giving us some sort of priority. I don't know. It felt like a fast pass in a way to get on here because we were waiting at Pop, so maybe they let us in right away. But we're on the way to Hollywood Studios already. Flying into studios, look at the empty parking lot. Hi everyone, waiting to get in. Hello, hello from the other side. Looks like the tolls won't open until 9.15. So we're gonna get there, hopefully, right at security, when right it opens. All right, if you can see it down there, it looks like there are some guests getting into security ready. Maybe they walked over from the boardwalk or the Swan and Dolphin, but there are some guests ready going through temperature check, going through bag check, Ladies but it's gentlemen. not bad compared Welcome to the guests to waiting at Caribbean Hollywood Beach Studios. or in line at the toll booth. It is 9.09. .09. I just went through temperature check and bag check. We're about to get into the gate. Thank you. And we're in. Good morning. Oh, first time back in many years here. And we're home, in a way, to California in Florida. Good morning. Good morning. 
We're on our way to get in line for Mickey and Minnie's Run Away Railway. I said that clearly. Let's do this. So it's about 9.56 now. Everyone's here is staring down at their phone, looking at the My Disney Experience app. Four minutes to count down. And I'm actually pretty close to getting in line for Runaway Railway. So we may get two attractions done before lunch today. All right, this can't be more perfect. I got group 20 and we're walking into Runaway Railway at 10 p.m. 10 a.m. Right, that's a real draw. Can't be more perfect today. I'm still shaking from excitement. All right, uh, I haven't been in here since the great movie ride was still here. And so far it looks the same. Oh, I'd say spoiler free the entire ride since it opened in March. So it's all being new to me. So I love how they incorporated the Chinese theater architecture with the Hollywood theme. Do you see the hidden Mickey inside there? Wow. This is completely different than a uh, great movie ride. Alrighty, just got off front of my railway. Wow, what an attraction. It's a little short compared to Great Movie Ride, but that final scene where the stomper and then the whole park's change, wow. It'll be a great fit for Toontown when it comes to Disneyland in a few years. I can't wait to ride it when it gets there. Let's get around and maybe wait for our boarding pass now. I'm happy that I got here early when I did because the line is zigzag, switched back all the way through here. And it's very hot and humid today, and I'm not good in humidity coming from California, so I'm very glad I got here. I can't believe it. I walked right into that building right at 10 o'clock. I couldn't have timed that even more perfect today. All right, so let's go to Batu. My boarding pass is about to get called, or boarding group 20. So let's go find our way to get to Batu from here. All right, we made it to the former streets of America. Time to go through this uh, portal thing. We're not in Frontierland right now. We go from some subway tile to the formations of that too. Just like that. Just a few yards into it and it feels so familiar, but so new at the same time. And just like that, we're called in. One thing I noticed right away is that they have more fans in their queue, which I am a big fan of today. Comparing to Disneyland, this queue is a little different. I think there's one room that's different, and I think that was the room we just passed. This room never gets old. There's another family in here. Enemies this is the their first time. I don't want to spoil it. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Okay, bye. The other family is behind me, so the entire thing to myself. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. No, watch out! Watch out! No, 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 no! Don't shoot me! No, no, no! Anyway. Yeah. 
Oh, we're going on the other side. Take cover, recruit. Watch out. Oh. We're going backwards. If anyone's back in a blaster, now's a good time. We're going up the front this time. Yeah. Here we go. Wait, wait, hey, Finn. Wait. I said down, up is bad. Up is real bad. Hey, hey. No, 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 no. Don't shoot me. No, no, no. There's no escape. You will tell me the location of the secret base, and then I will destroy you and the resistance. To the escape pod. Came in a little off target. Yeah, we were a little rough landing there. The wreck. We did it. Yeah. That was fun as usual. It's different having the whole car to yourself, but just as fun. Glad I did this here at Hollywood Studios. Yes, off hive. You too. Well, that was a very successful morning. Rode uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway already and Rise of Resistance, and it's barely 12 o'clock. Getting a little hungry, so let's eat at one of Hollywood Studios' famous restaurants the Hollywood Brown Derby. All right, we're here at the Brown Derby. It's a little dark in here, but the famous comp salad is what we're having for lunch today, and also some bread. Let's enjoy. <laughs> Well, that was a good call. I was able to get a reservation here at the Brown Derby. Always a treat to eat inside with the uh, the older Los Angeles Hollywood decor and all the caricatures on the wall. Now, let's go explore Hollywood Studios a little bit. I wanna go through this archway here. I know it's been here since day one, but let's go see what's left open and uh, what's over here. So here's the Voyage of the Little Mermaid show. Looks like it's closed. And over here, the Disney dance party. Oh, it looks like this is open. That's good. Let's head over here to the Star Wars launch bay. So this area, the launch bay, is a relaxation zone. It's awkwardly very quiet in here. I think Rock and Roller Coaster is right behind this wall. I can hear people screaming. But also, this is a place where you can take your mask off and get a break in the air conditioning. Like normal, when I walk outside, my glasses fog up. So it's hard for me to see right now. But we're gonna head over to Rock and Roller Coaster, that area of the park, to see what's new over there. All right, I made it behind Rock and Roller Coaster here, and this is a new show. Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. And it's inside, there's air conditioning. Welcome everyone. Academy, pick the lane and find the parking spot. Remember to drive all the way down your lane to make room for every car. That was a nice cute show. Uh, the intro song may sound familiar to me. If you want, if you know the show, you know why. But that's a nice show, air conditioned for the whole family too. So since Beauty and the Beast is showing right now, they have a new show with the band.
and we're back at the room. It was very hot and very humid. For me, being from California, not used to humidity, so we came back to uh, cool off a little bit, and maybe we'll do dinner at a resort tonight. We'll see you there. And we're back. We're almost to Disney's Riviera Resort here for dinner tonight at Primo Piatto. <laughs> here at Primo Piatto and we're gonna try the burger this time. I tried the steak which is very good last year so let's try the burger this time. Wow that burger is really good. It was very thick. You can see the meat and all the ingredients inside of it and the garlic cheese fries are very good too. I was looking on the app and I realized Epcot closes at 9 tonight being a Friday. It closed at 7 every night I've been here, so it opens up till 9. So, we're gonna take the Skyliner to the resorts. Fly into Epcot, we can see the France expansion with the Ratatouille attraction right beneath us here. Doesn't look like it's gonna open anytime soon. I was actually hoping it would open during my trip, but I don't think it will. So, uh, something to look forward to for our next visit. everyone made it back to their room for the final time tonight it was a hot one today but I got a Mickey premium bar to end the night because it's over 100 degrees outside with the humidity yeah I like ice cream too so thanks for joining me on this very long day as we queued up for Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway riding rides the resistance and then finding the heat while taking a lap around the Epcot resorts tonight Tomorrow is a free day. I really don't know what I'm doing yet, and we'll kind of make it up as we go. So, join us for that tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.